Could you please stand for the arrival of the bride? So good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Clevedon Hall on this very special day for Patrick and Cheryl as they enter a new part of their lives and become a married couple. Before proceeding to the formal part of the ceremony, I must tell you that the place in which we are now gathered has been duly sanctioned according to the law of this country for the celebration of marriages. I introduce myself, my name is Rachel, I am one of the registrars for Somerset and it's my great pleasure and honour to be here to conduct your marriage ceremony. And this is my friend and colleague Krista, she's also a registrar and she is here to ensure the legality of the marriage and manage all the paperwork. <laughs> so would everyone, except for you three, please be seated. 
So we'll start with just confirming that we have the right people in front of us. Patrick, could you give me your full name, please? Uh, Patrick Heinrich Hollerit. Thank you. And Cheryl? Cheryl Ambrose. Thank you. We're starting today's ceremony with a long ago custom still remembered today, the giving away of the bride. But Cheryl, you don't strike me as a woman that could be given away at all <laughs> by anyone. So times have changed. But this tradition now represents the coming together of two families. So I have a question for Alan. Do you present Cheryl to be married to Patrick and give this marriage and blending of families your love and blessing? I do. Thank you very much. Yeah. Do have a seat. <laughs> if you stand there, and Patrick, you stand there, you can hold hands. Oh. Or do whatever you'd like to do. Right. Yes. Okay. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I think you all know better than Krista and I do that Patrick and Cheryl have found in each other happiness, fulfillment, and love. So they now wish to affirm their relationship and offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. However, in order to proceed, I must now ask if any person here present knows of any lawful impediment where Patrick should not be joined in matrimony to Cheryl, you should declare it now. <laughs> Perfect silence. Did you pay them all? Yeah. So our ceremony starts with the bride and groom declaring they are free legally to marry. Then they'll make their marriage contract and finally give their vows as they exchange rings. But first of all, we have a reading. Jan, have you got your reading? Yes, I have. Would you like to come and stand up here? Thank you, General Patrick, for asking me to do the reading. You both look lovely, absolutely beautiful. The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. The little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It's never going to seem angry. It's at no time taking the other for granted. The courtship should not end with the honeymoon. It should continue through all the years. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It is not expecting the husband to wear a halo or the wife to have wings of an angel. It's not looking for perfection in each other. It's cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding and a sense of humour. It's having the capacity to forgive and to forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow. It's finding room for the things of the spirit. It's common search for the good and the beautiful. It's establishing a, establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It's not only marrying the right partner, it's about being the right partner. Thank you very much, Dan. That was lovely. <laughs> Shall I put Charlie's flowers up here? A bit less for you to hold, because they're quite, <laughs> quite heavy. <laughs> Yeah, they're lovely. <laughs> so, <laughs> Patrick and Cheryl, before you pledge yourselves to each other, it is my duty to remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country allows two people to make a lifelong commitment, and this legally binding union is to be entered into voluntarily and to the exclusion of all others. But more than this, the purpose of marriage is that you may always love, care for, and support each other through all the joys and difficult times of life. I'm now going to ask each of you to declare that you know of no lawful reason why you should not be joined in matrimony to each other. I'm going to ans ask you a question, and you just need to answer, I am, if you agree. So we'll start with you, Patrick. Are you Patrick Heinrich Holrit? free lawfully to marry Cheryl Ann Brown. I am. Thank you. And Cheryl. Yeah. Are you, Cheryl Ann Brown, free lawfully to marry Patrick Heinrich Holrit? I am. Thank you. You've both declared you're free to marry, and we now come to the moment where you make your contract with each other. 
marriage is a personal decision, but a large part of its importance comes from its public recognition. So, as our bride and groom make their marriage contract before you all, could I please ask the official witnesses who will sign the schedule, Leslie and Toby, to come and stand beside the bride and groom and listen carefully. <laughs> Toby, if you stand just, just where you are, it's fine. Can you step over the train and come and stand here? Thank you. He is just fine. There we go. So would you like to turn and face each other? And you might want to hold hands, or not. <laughs> so, I'd like you to say these words but to each other. I, Patrick Heinrich Holwit. I, Patrick Heinrich Holwit. Take you, Cheryl Ann Brown. Take you, Cheryl Ann Brown. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And Cheryl. I, Cheryl Ann Brown. I, Cheryl Ann Brown. Take you, Patrick Heinrich Holwit. Take you, Patrick Heinrich Holwit. <laughs> <laughs> Right. <laughs> <laughs> to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. I've got a question for you and I hope the answer is I do. <laughs> Patrick, as you take Cello to be your wife, do you promise to honour her, trust her, and remain true to her now and always? I do. And Cheryl, as you take Patrick to be your husband, do you promise to honour him, trust him, and remain true to him now and always? I do. Thank you. Witnesses, are you happy that all happened? Yes. Yes, have your seat again. <laughs> so we now come to the giving of rings, which is the traditional way of sealing the marriage contract you've just made. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle. It has no beginning and no end. It symbolizes unending and everlasting love and is an outward sign of the lifelong promises you're making to each other. Wedding rings are also a symbol of love and hope and will be a daily reminder of the vows and promises you're making today. So Martin, would you step forward of the rings, please? And could you give Patrick Cheryl's ring? <laughs> Lovely. Thank you. And can you put that on the tip of the third finger of the left hand? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's that one. <laughs> So here are your ring vows. I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. To be there for you when you need me most. To be there for you when you need me most. To laugh with you, to cry with you. To laugh with you, to cry with you. To confide in you. To confide in you. To trust you, to comfort you. To trust you, to comfort you. And to support you. And to support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. These promises I make for the rest of my life. These promises I make for the rest of my life. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. Thank you. Please put the ring on. And Martin, could you give Cheryl Patrick's ring? <laughs> and your job is done, you can have a seat. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I promise to give you my love and friendship. I promise to give you my love and friendship. To be there for you when you need me most. To be there for you when, I, when you need me most. To laugh with you, to cry with you. To laugh with you, to cry with you. To confide in you. To confide in you. To trust you, to comfort you. To trust you, to comfort you. And to support you. And to support you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. <laughs> 
I promise to respect you. I promise to respect you. And be faithful to you always. And be faithful to you always. These promises I make for the rest of my life. These promises I make for the rest of my life. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. And I give you this ring as a token of our marriage. Thank you. Please put the ring on. I think we have another reading. Ella, are you ready to come and do your reading? Some Things That Go Together by Charlotte Zoloto. Pairs of things that go together, pigeons with cup, stars with dark, Sam with sea and you with me. Hats with heads, pillows with beds, sky with blue and me with you. Thank you. Ella, that was excellent. Thank you very much indeed. So everyone, would you please stand? Patrick and Cheryl, you have both made the declarations required by law and given solemn and binding promises to each other in the presence of your witnesses, families and friends. May you treasure this trust and responsibility and may you live rich and full lives together. It gives me very great pleasure to announce that you are now husband and wife. Would you like to come and sit down here?